The suprahyoid muscles comprise following four paired muscles. First to indicate is the mylohyoid muscle. Origin of this muscle is from the mylohyoid line of the mandible. The posterior fibers are inserted into the body of the hyoid bone. The medial fibers of the two mylohyoid muscles unite in a midline raphe, where the two muscles intermesh. The digastric muscle is a strap-like muscle, consisting of posterior and anterior bellies united by an intermediate tendon. The posterior belly arises from the mastoid notch of the temporal bone. The anterior belly arises from the digastric fossa on the lower border of the mandible, close to the symphysis menti. The intermediate tendon is anchored to the junction of the body and the greater corner of hyoid bone by an inverted U-shaped fascial sling. The stylohyoid muscle is a slender muscle that lies along the upper border of the posterior belly of the digastric muscle. It arises from the styloid process to be inserted into the hyoid bone at the junction between the body and the greater corno. The last suprahyoid muscle to be indicated is the geniohyoid. The geniohyoid muscle is a narrow muscle situated superior to the medial border of the mylohyoid muscle. It arises from the inferior mental spine on the back of the mandibular symphysis and runs backward and slightly downward to be inserted into the body of the hyoid bone. The innervation of the suprahyoid muscles is as follows. The posterior belly of the gastric and the stylohyoid are innervated by the facial nerve. The anterior belly of the gastric and the mylohyoid are innervated by mylohyoid nerve, which is a branch of the inferior alveolar nerve. The geniohyoid muscle is innervated by fibers from C1 spinal nerve via the hypoglossal nerve. Using the green color, we will start indicating the following four paired infrahyoid muscles. First to be indicated is the homohyoid muscle. This muscle consists of two bellies separated by an intermediate tendon. The inferior belly arises from the superior border of the scapula just medial to the suprascapular notch. From this origin, the inferior belly forms a flat, narrow fasciculus, which inclines forward and slightly upward, across the lower part of the neck, to end in the intermediate tendon. Superior belly proceeds upwards from the intermediate tendon, almost vertically upwards, to be inserted on the lower border of the body of hyoid bone. The sternothyroid muscle originates from the posterior surface of the manubrium and adjoining part of the first costal cartilage to be inserted in the oblique line on the lamina of thyroid cartilage. The thyrohyoid muscle is an upward extension of the sternothyroid and originates on the oblique line of the lamina of thyroid cartilage to be inserted on the lower border of the greater corno and adjoining part of the body of the hyoid bone. The last infrahyoid muscle to be indicated is the sternohyoid. This muscle stretches from the base of the neck to the hyoid bone and is located anterior to the sternothyroid and thyrohyoid muscles. Its origin is on the posterior surface of the manubrium and adjoining part of clavicle. The fibers of this muscle go upwards to be inserted on the medial part of the lower border of hyoid bone. All the four paired infrahyoid muscles are innervated by the ansa cervicalis.